WBAI 99.5 FM New York and on the internet at WBAI.org and we're hanging out uh, in studio with uh, Dr. Winston Huggins and uh, Anthony Sloan. Uh, that, would be me. <laughs> that is you. Yeah, that, that would be me. Yeah. I wouldn't lie to you. I mean. Yeah, I've been uh, around. So. I've, been, I've been checking this for the last few days. See if it oh, is me. Oh, okay. Uh, and uh, there's absolute certainty, uh, isn't it? So, how have you been? Oh man, I, 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 I'm, I'm anxious to go home. I shouldn't say it like that, but yeah, I guess I is anxious yeah, to go it, home. It, it, it is. I yeah. mean, like I leave tomorrow morning. Just, well, yeah. not tomorrow morning means Sunday morning. Yeah, well, it is tomorrow morning. That's what I'm saying. Yeah, not this morning, which is this morning being Saturday, because we have the tendency to say, you know. Uh, yeah. But so, I get to find out how important it is to just call it as it is. New day, new day. So I, yeah. I, I, I want to spend my last hours with you. <laughs> I thank you, sir. Uh, hey. and, and we have um, excellent company in Dr. Winston, uh, hey. an artist, you know. Um, I, I, I see it. I yeah. heard. Yeah, and, and, and good too. You know, some very interesting things. It is just that. I, I guess maybe it's my, I'm dubious about my artistic skills in the terms of uh, that Don't be dubious, <laughs> just do. <laughs> <laughs> you, you put too many words in there. You, 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 you're supposed to do, not dubious. <laughs> yeah. can, I, can, I, can I say something, yeah, Doctor? Can I say something? Yeah, please. I did this thing one time. It was amazing. Or I think it was amazing. Maybe it wasn't amazing. But, you know, I, 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 uh, basically I drew, I drew hair. Like if you had somebody's hair in their head, and the hair and like the eyebrows and the armpit hairs, right? And the and and the um and the and the uh, pubic hairs, right? And the way I put it on the paper, put three of them, and it looked just like a person. You know what I mean? You know what I mean? I mean, I didn't have to draw anything else. So that's why I say oh, that oh. you can do anything. You oh, oh, I see, I see. It was I really see. interesting. Yeah. I don't even know why I, I did it, but I, I just did it. <laughs> It's inside. It is something inside. What, what, is that what it is? Yeah. Art. Sure. It uh, is. Everything. Art. Yeah. Art. It's, 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 it's what you do, and mm -hmm. how you do it. Well, you know, but as as a uh, as a artist of, well, I guess I'm a I'm an artist also. Yeah. Um, my, in fact, uh, for for a while I had to I was charged. In fact, there's a YouTube thing that says that there's a. I used to teach at the University of Cape Town. And um, in the, at the Center for Film and Media Studies, mm -hmm. and so one of the times that we went to, they have all kinds of things there. And they have a film department too, mm -hmm. and so the kids had to make a ten-minute film. So one group approached me, and then so they was following me around, you know, to my classes. And I remember in the film it says uh, I talked to some of my kids. I said, "Look, I'm charged with teaching you creativity, and you can't teach creativity." Ah. And so, <laughs> so my basic thing is I make I make I, I basically make a safe space for yeah. people. I, I call it a corral or whatever, a safe mm -hmm. space. Um, and then I I use a well I can't tell you all my secrets, you know, but various and sundry <laughs> uh, theater techniques that that a theater director would use because mm -hmm. theater directors are just number no, but they have to use psychology to get people to do what they mm -hmm. need done. To basically to motivate, to uh, uh, you say motivate. I'm saying a theater director is an absolute tyrant. Okay, <laughs> <laughs> to get things done. Okay, because you have you have a time limit. It's not like being a constru uh, some construction thing, and they say, oh, the building's going to be up in, in you yeah. know in six years, and then it takes you know, like sixteen years. No, yeah. they say this production's got to be up you know in six weeks. Well, it's got to be up in six, six weeks. weeks. That's, 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 that's the way yeah. it works. And so I basically said that, but then what I have to do is I try, I make it so that I, I have it so they have to release, I, I, they have to go into themselves and release. And, and one of the things I said was mm -hmm. kind of brutal. I basically beat the creativity out of them, mm -hmm. not physically, but you know, yeah, yeah. For various things, like various and sundry things, to, to, to get them to release themselves. Yeah. Because most people just want to, and this day and age is really bad, really, yeah. really bad. And to, to, to be encouraged to push limits. Yeah, yes. yeah, that's right. Deep, 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 deep. Yeah, I heard somebody say that spontaneity, which, like, creativity, you can't plan for that. 
Actually, that's that's why a lot of uh, political political uh, leaders have a problem with creative people mm -hmm. because if you allow people to be creative, there's there's I mean there's no predetermined uh, blueprint for where the creativity will lead. And uh, a part of being creative is being critical. Mm -hmm. And uh, sometimes people don't, the power don't want you to be critical. But this is where you actually uh, gain like insights mm -hmm. and you can actually uh, create a, a whole world that doesn't exist. Because you, through creativity, yeah. because only those who can see the invisible can do the impossible. Uh. Well, that is something else. And I think they said innovation, you can't plan innovation either, you know, because that is part of the creativity uh, aspect of things. So, uh, last time you were here, Anthony, uh, you, you had a radio drama planned. How did that go? It went. <laughs> we had a ball. <laughs> Can I just say, look, look, I don't want to dwell on it because yeah. I have a lot of other things, not yeah. other, but I have yeah. some other things that I want, we want to talk about Africa today. But, um, Look, all my my expect my audio dramas. I have, I, I, I'm, I'm privileged to work both both in theater and audio drama. Mm -hmm. And audio drama, I it's my thing. You know, it's it's what I do. In theater, there's all there's, there's the, the it's you have um you have traditions. You know, you have to work through, and you have certain constraints. But in audio drama, uh, because uh, the way I do it, it's like it, to me, it's a forgiven medium. You know, you could you you can uh, as 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 Miles Davis said, you 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 can you can do something and people think it's a mistake, but then you have to work work it so that you, you know you you make it work or you know mm -hmm. there are no mistakes, only where you take things, and so I always again back to this corral thing or this this uh, this milieu or this uh, this, this, this setting, I just make it a safe space and and then I just uh, uh, encourage people to continue. To continue on, to, to to strive on. So in that sense, uh, there was several things to this process. One was the writing process, and we got people together. Um, and some people couldn't take it, you know, and they they had to leave <laughs> because because you know it's just the way you know they grooved into they have they have to have it this way and it doesn't you know. Yeah. And other people, you know, so you know you start up. It's like anything. You start up with like twelve people, something like that, and then finally you get down to your six or or four that that, that are malleable and they can they can mm -hmm. work. And then as we come um, closer to the thing, I move away. And so the final production was, it was so good because people stepped up, you know, they were doing set decoration, people brought in whole costuming, they brought in a whole bag and people had to put on costumes. You know, this is audio drama, you know, but yeah. I actually we were streaming too. And, um, oh, okay. and, and, and then we had this script that called Nodes, you know, different things we had to hit, but then in between that I had imp people doing improv and of course because it's, it's, it's the way I do it, mm -hmm. you know, uh, we, we, we was doing it in Basir and Chowry's a uh, spot uh, education quarter, so he had to be in it. Oh, okay. And, and then I got Radio Rahim to be there, and then Stevie D, who I actually in a way responsible for being at, you know, at the station mm -hmm. when he was a young man. Uh, <laughs> so I know he had the certain things I had him in. So it was just hilarious. Oh, it was hilarious. We had little technical difficulties because you know the, usually I leave people. You're supposed to do a task. I leave you to do it. Well, at least when I'm working here, yeah. not in theaters, sort of different. But yeah. here, I just leave it there. So if you don't, if it don't work out, well, it's nothing yeah. I can do about it. You know, yeah. it's like next time. <laughs> <laughs> so, so you know, maybe uh, um, I'm, I'm writing a David Wright is writing a play. It's an amazing piece. I mean, I'm telling, you, I'm, I'm souping this up. But I'm telling you, this is a if David writes it, well, he will because like, we gotta we gotta do this. He's got an amazing piece that he's doing. And uh, so if, if he writes it and, and then uh, he gets me up here next year, then we'll do the play. But if I'm in New York, hey, if I, I'm here, I gotta do yeah, an audio yeah, drama, yeah, so we'll do right. another audio drama. That's it. So so that's it for that. Just leave that go. So you know, oh, I was saying one more thing. Yeah. And then we had an audience participant. No, we had audience there. But afterwards, I got to interview somebody, and some people in the audience, and mm -hmm. that was another experience. Woo! We had this guy Carlito talking about the Puerto Ricans and the Taino Indians, his whole history. Like, whoa! Mm -hmm. It's like, whoa! Knowledge. That's what I like. Anyway, so that's it. In information. Now, um, you, you say you're heading home to to South Africa tomorrow, Sunday. What, what besides living? What do you go back to do? Well, um, I'm currently doing postgraduate work. 
uh, research work, uh, and it's um, doing two things at one time. I'm doing my master's mm -hmm. and also my uh, PhD. Oh, cool. And um, I should say this, I, I'll be honest, I actually don't need a degree, right? It's sort of like, I'm not perpetrating a fraud, exactly, but I figured out that I'm, see, I, all my life I've been able to get grants and, you know, and, mm -hmm. and, 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 and do audio drama. I mean, I, I, I mm -hmm. write, a, I mean, one time um, in South Africa, the, high, the hardest one to get is this thing called a lottery fund. You know, and, okay. and I was at this agency, uh, Adasa. You know, they had never gotten a lot of from like the 20 years they were in existence. So I wrote my little thing, and I got the money. <laughs> so it's easy for me to do that, but I don't like reports and stuff like that. Mm -hmm. I shouldn't say that way, but I, I don't really like that. I, I think when you get these like grants, they should also give you an administrator or something like that. Yeah. Because okay. you're an artist. You know, yeah. you know, that's not what you do. You know, so. Anyway. Well, you have to give an accounting. Yeah, that's uh, as a, as a write a report. Yeah, but you can work with somebody. You know, yes. uh, in the kind of uh, like uh, a, send a copy of yeah. the, the 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 drama, the the work, whatever it is. Take pictures or send, you know, video or whatever. Well, it, that should suffice, I think. That but, is my tip. <laughs> <laughs> but I've, I've, I've gotten very good at that also. But then I said, look, you know, there's got to be another way. So I thought a couple of things. One, I realized that, you know, universities, I would say maybe university has resources and I can work with that. But the other thing is audio drama, is, it is at a, I think it needs to be le legitimate in the eyes of academia. If I can put mm -hmm. it that way, yeah. So I, so I'm using audio drama for as well, a research, like I said, but the, for my communications, I'm using audio drama as a as as a, as a right. thing, and then for community development, I'm using audio drama to develop a community, and that's and actually the that's next level. Then that's part of that. It's, it's, it's amazing because it's amazing. this is what you're talking about, uh, uh, the visual arts uh, for for the for the for the community. Yes, uh, and. Yeah. Uh, I'm going to guess that uh, that's part of community development too. Is, is it is it is it the mic I'm speaking of? Is it good enough for you? Uh, yeah. no, 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 that was me. That was me. That was me. I just no, moved no, it closer. No. Cause, cause, yeah, because I, I want him to. I want him to be closer to it too, and uh, and oh. speak right into it. Yeah. You know. Uh, um. It it is because uh, the, 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 what we're trying to do. Uh, is to create a future. Mm. Okay. That that is that is uh, um, of our making. Mm -hmm. And if you are trained, uh, then you don't have the opportunity. You 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 you're trained to to do a job, but not to necessarily to think outside or within okay. or around the box. The, the other the other meaning of train to be trained as a, because sometimes um, we talk about being trained to think, you know, uh, but that's a whole well, that's other story. Yeah, right. <laughs> well, well, well that's, that's, yeah. that's the reason why I use audio drama because, uh, see, we have another situation in South yeah. Africa. A yeah. lot of, a lot of uh, kids can't afford to go to tertiary or, 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 or um, you know, college yeah. and like that. And they just, um, they get the basic, uh, I would even say, rote kind of training. Mm -hmm. And yeah. then they're trying to look for jobs, of course, because they're under the capitalist system. It's hard to find jobs. Mm -hmm. And because I'm, I'm in a particularly rural area, I'm oh, out yeah. of the city now. I used to be yeah. in Cape Town for a long time, yeah. but now I'm 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 I'm, I'm in Steve Biko area. You know, it's oh, King oh, Williamstown, okay. up from uh, King yeah. Williamstown. I'm in a place called Alice. But there, there's you have you have the um, I think I explained this before. You have um, a village. You know, we have a township called Dimbaza, and it's very famous because there's a film called Last Grave at Dimbaza. Mm -hmm. It's a tragic story. Just look it up. But anyway, what they have, they have no real culture. Uh, what they want to make their bones, they have to either go to Joburg or Cape or Cape Town, perhaps mm -hmm. Durban, you know, or Port Elizabeth, not really. And so, and so, but in their communities, all they have is is the church and the shabine, you know, mm -hmm. alcohol and, the, and religion. The, the, the same thing. And, yeah, and so exactly. <laughs> and well, so, you know, and so. What, yeah, I was just going to say both of them being intoxicants. Exactly. Yeah. And so what we've done, what what we're doing with audio drama is giving them another way. And what's interesting mm -hmm. because if you can create this virtual world, you can use the art, you can use the, you can use what you do in the real world and and put it in this audio drama form. And they're learning, they're learning like like right, um, to give you an example. You know, I'll keep on talking, but let me just give yeah. you a tiny example. I've been doing, I've been, I had to pick up books and stuff like that. I ran across a book. Her Boyd's book, um, uh, uh, African History for Beginners. Now they, yeah. they don't have books; they don't have libraries. Is the way I am. Yeah. So I'm bringing them books and stuff like that. So now what? But what, what they'll do with this? 
is they'll take this book, it's in English, of course. Mm -hmm. well, they speak English, you yeah. know. But their their um, language there is is closer. They're, they're okay. Is it closer as their as their, as their language? And so I'll have them translate this book, this basic illustrated book, mm -hmm. to a uh, closer. Cool. So and, and then when they translate it, I'll send it back to her boy. Hey, but here's the I don't say freaky thing, but I picked this book up at Strand. And then you know, I just started reading it. And then last night, after after the audio drama, mm -hmm. um, we, a number of things that we ended up going to being in a nightclub in Harlem, and okay. and, and in a jazz club. Uh, um, this year, uh, this brother um, and this other brother, we, we we were in this nightclub, and her boy is there. So I said, Oh, hey man, I got you. I, got, I just got your book and bring it to South Africa. I said, hey, and he says, Wait, I'm going to call and give you the next book in there, Black Panthers. Mm -hmm. Oh, so now I'm bringing them two books, yeah. you know. <laughs> but one is Black Panthers. So, so it, it's, I'm just saying it works that way for me. That mm -hmm. I, I, when you ask me what I'm doing is in, in what I'm going back to. I'm going back to. Okay, I'll be real fan. I'm going back to my destiny. I'm going back to my my through line. I'm going mm -hmm. back to what I'm supposed to be doing. Good. That's what I'm going. And what you want to do. I, I, I hope I'm not, as I say, putting words in your mouth. Yeah, you're putting words into my mouth. <laughs> hey, it's not it's, with you. In terms of, you, you mentioned uh, using radio drama as a means of, let me say, engaging the community and maybe then uh, through it opening, uh, at, if, if, well, the mind's door, people begin thinking, I guess, differently and uh, begin seeing, I guess, other avenues towards, let me say, making life, a developing community. Uh, do you do you find that too? This is your work in the community. Do you find the students that you work with coming in in terms of, uh, let me say, nation building, having a sense that they would like to create a South Africa uh, that is. The, the realization of a vision, you know, um, do, you, do you have people in, in, in your classes who talk of Marcus Garvey, of uh, uh, a unity of Africa, uh, you know, that, that type of thing, and, and maybe getting an understanding from where I am uh, because of the recent um, situation that was happening with what they call, you know, the, the foreigners um, being uh, in, in South Africa. That was what was in the headlines. But do, do you find the, the students that you're working with being hopeful uh, about the future, about creating something African in Africa? Okay, let me be clear. I no longer teach at the university okay. because the, the kids that come to university, to be quite frank, their, their main thing is to get a piece of paper and to perhaps get a job. Okay. I work on my it's research and I work uh, in the in the village. I work okay. in, the, in the community and the, the, I work with a group. One of the main groups I'm working with is a group called Isitepe Sinjole. Mm -hmm. And um, it basically means like, uh, 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 pl what the, it doesn't matter. Yeah. It means platter, it doesn't matter. Yeah. Anyway, uh, and they are a youth group that has no affiliations and they just want to raise up, they want to change the circumstance and raise up their thing. So mm -hmm. that's what I'm working with. When I say working with, uh, yeah. I've trained one young man and because of the nature of my research, I can't really deal with, directly with with the um, with the villages, because then I would be like super my own research, so I can't do that. Yeah, okay. But he's trained. But I'm glad this is a good thing you say. Like I said, most of them they don't have an opportunity, or they don't have the wherewithal mm -hmm. to go to university to do what these other folks are doing. But they everybody needs jobs anyway. Even if you get yeah. in university, you get jobs. Yeah. But their consciousness is much different. Um, and exactly what you said, they. Um, they are realizing that, um, I don't know how to put this politely, they, they realize they've been hoodwinked, bamboozled. Mm -hmm. okay. <laughs> that, that, that this new democracy that was promised, uh, where, where all these, it's, mm -hmm. it's, 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 it's false. It's, only, it's, it's, it's just um, the colonial masters have been replaced by their own masters. And so, and so they have to deal with the economic system. So part of the thing about audio drama is, to, is, is if we solve the problems in a virtual world, we can apply it to a real world. Yeah. Now you said something very, very interesting. Um, like, for instance, uh, that area is known, or one of my heroes is, is Mangaliso Robert Sabukwe. Mm -hmm. uh, he's, think of him as the, as the Malcolm X of, of, of South Africa. The, the, the PAC. 
Street. Exactly. Right. Thank you. Okay, right. He was he was part of A and C, but then when the A and C started to do their little thing, and he realized that he's a very principled man, yeah. so he left and started the PAC. Yeah. And this is like the forties, fifties, well, the fifties. Yeah, Anyway, he's the one that started everything because he's the one with the with the past laws, the sharp building. That's what that that's what started the whole the, the yeah. real crumbling. But um, I I I particularly like him. But I just want to read. Um, it seems like a long, but let me just try to yeah. do this for you because then you'll really understand where, he, where his mentality comes from and where they come from. If you want to do a break, you can. No, no, go ahead. Okay, this is his words. His words are Robert Sabuque. There are those in our own ranks who would speak irresponsibly of bloodshed and violence. They must be firmly told what our stand is. Results of violence. Let us consider for a moment that violence will achieve, say, um, quiet positivity without fear of contradiction that the only people who will benefit from violence are the government and the police. Let me just stop there for a second. Now remember when, uh, when, 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 um, when they had the new democracy, when the first things, for some reason, they they got rid of all these teachers, so education, you know, suffered. But the police force was still being, and the military was still being built up. They they kept on developing, but the the, the education structure crumbled. Okay, now just now let me go back to what uh, uh, Sabuque was saying. Immediately, violence breaks out. Uh, we will um, we will be taken up with it and and give vent to our pent-up emotions and feel that by throwing a stone at a Saracen or burning a particular building we are we are small revolutionaries engaged in revolutionary warfare okay but after a few days when we are uh, when we have uh, buried our dead and made moving graveside speeches and our emotions are settled again the police will round up a few people and the rest will go back to passes meaning the past laws. Mm -hmm. Having forgotten that our goal had been initially, well, we'll have forgotten what our goal was initially. Inci uh, incidentally, in this process, we shall have alienated the masses who will feel that we have made cannon fodder of them for no significant purpose except for spectacular newspaper headlines. Sounds kind of familiar? <laughs> well, I'm almost at the end here. This is not a game. We are not gambling. We are taking our first step in the march to African independence and the United and a United States of Africa. And we are not leading corpses in a new Africa. We are leading a vital, breathing, and dynamic youth of our land. We are leading our youth not to death, but to life abundant. Let us be clear. This is Mangalisa Robert Subukwe. You tell me who, tell me who on this planet right now can say these words and mean these words. We got people, I'm sorry, I'm getting, I'm going crazy. Yeah. Go ahead. WBAI, 99.5 <laughs> FM, uh, New York, and WBAI.org by way of the internet. Uh, the It is 331. And... Uh, uh, this program is lavish. My name is Hapta Selassie, and we have in-house with us uh, Anthony Sloan, uh, resident of South Africa, and Winston Huggins, Dr. Winston Huggins, resident of Brooklyn. <laughs> hey, hey the, the, the Republic of Brooklyn. Hey, get it straight. <laughs> the, I like to say the benevolent, democratic, revolutionary people's republic of Brooklyn. Yes. Uh, and my name is Hapta Selassie, and um, I, I find this interesting that uh, we like to, as far as I'm concerned, play the dozens. You know, that is, we look at oppressor and we say your mama so and so and you you know uh, or uh, we we talk tough that uh, you know we need to get some guns especially like in terms of a place like ferguson or so uh, but building takes a whole lot more time it takes a whole lot more patience it takes a whole lot more strategic thinking and the, the, the truth of the matter is that I, I find it to be so, that is, if people know the rhetoric, and a lot of people do, 
they tend to exploit the emotions, you know, so they come and talk tough. Uh, because, yeah, we can talk and, you know, with, a, as I say, a situation in Ferguson, but what happens after? Uh, you know, because one of the things I found uh, interesting is that uh, they mentioned that in Baltimore, uh, the the gang, the Crips and the Bloods, called a truce. Then, between themselves, because of police violence, but that truce has not held in terms of them not going to war anymore with themselves. That is not a truce, but having a peace pact where instead of fighting, if anything, collaborating, I don't care what you're going to collaborate with, but that there's not a, this kind of war with each other. Who, I mean, it's, um, it's quite easy for us to go to war and to, uh, amongst ourselves, that's one, and also to, to talk about, you know, picking up guns and fighting, but, you know, burning the midnight oil through the night and doing the, those things that are essential to nation building. Well, you're saying several things, uh, Hapte, and, and, and one of the things is you're saying that we have no strategy and tactics, that's one thing, aside from not having an army anyway. Yeah. So, but but we do have, what we do have is culture, and that's what I'm saying. I mean, this is a cultural weapon, but what, 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 what uh, Brother Mangalisa Roberts Booker has said, and what I, I'm looking, okay, let's leave that alone for a second. Mm -hmm. We're not going to leave it alone. Say something like, okay, we have Black Lives Matter. That's that's yeah. that's a new movement, right? Yeah. Now, what happens? They're just, just disrupting. That's like our toy toying, you know, mm -hmm. you know, because we have an enemy. But I, I saw something online that was quite interesting, and the person said, "Well, look, when Black Lives Matter starts starts uh, disrupting a, a hip hop concert, then I'll pay attention." <laughs> that and I said, "Ooh, that's kind of interesting." In other words. It's easy to find, a, you know, a, yeah. a, th but that's not a strategy and yeah. tactic. That's just that's just acting out. Yeah. Uh, and so, uh, 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 you you understand? What, yeah. Everybody understands what, what that means. Yeah. And it's just, you're just showing up. You're just showing out. And so, what's going to happen after you finish shows? Show, show out, or yeah. they give you some trinkets? What's going to happen next? You yeah. you sold Manhattan Island again? What? Yeah. No, you don't own it now. You can't sell it. I'm sorry. Wait, you sold your soul. I, I heard my uh, back here. Because yes, I do listen to radio. It's just <laughs> you have to listen to audio dramas. <laughs> Darn it! I, uh, well, at, at the time I couldn't listen to anything. But anyway, it's um, it, it, Doug Henwood had a, a, a guest, uh, a gentleman who had wrote a piece about uh, leadership. Uh, in, in the, let me say traditional black leadership that is kind of elitist hmm. and he was saying that the leadership of black lives matter is a continuation of that of course. that is uh, you know so and it, it's something that i look at for example uh not not the first time jesse jackson ran but the second time i, I look at the million man march hmm. and uh uh, Reverend Sharpton's run for, I think he, he ran for president once. And what I say of those three things is that uh, it's kind of like a referendum uh, in the black community to say then that, you know, see, so many people support me and therefore I am the official spokesperson for <laughs> That's how I look at well, it. Well, they also yeah. feel good moments. Uh, absolutely. Yeah, and, uh, uh, to, to, be able, to, to, to be able to transfer, translate it, because one of the things I've tried to stop doing is, uh, as you say, using like radio drama or art or as a weapon, uh, as, a, as a tool, uh, because uh, th this weapon thing Right. kind of imply yeah. confrontation and not in any confrontation we're looking to build something and you need tools to build and and building uh requires work yeah. you know um fight every, we we all can get in uh let me say then uh the the kind of reaction that we talk about where you know throwing stones or burning a building and and that type of venting uh it, it doesn't require any real planning. Well, yes. you know, and it's venting. You know, and now you, after you vent, what do you do? Mm -hmm. You know, so go ahead. My, my, you know, um, 
I, I think that if we look at the the educational system mm -hmm. uh, in in uh, various pockets of the, of the population. Um, more affluent or people who think uh, uh, in a in a in an affluent way, like uh, include the arts in their educational experiences, mm -hmm. and uh, areas that don't think of themselves as as being affluent are because it doesn't mean that you have money, you know. Because many of those places people don't have money, mm -hmm. but they have the the mindset that um, they are wealthy. Mm -hmm. in, 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 in ideas and thoughts and, and so on. Uh, there's no poverty there. Yeah. Um, even though physically their bank book may not say that, yeah. but that, that is immaterial. You know, it's, it's, it's really mm -hmm. a, a whole you think. Now, if you have the ability to have uh, these avenues of creativity, mm -hmm. these are where the entrepreneurs come uh, into, into being, um, as opposed to getting a job uh, the, the idea of getting a job yeah. is really something that is like past. Is like that that era. Is is really a, a, you have to you you have to know think for yourself in terms of. I mean, Marcus Garvey uh, said it that wherever you find uh, unemployment, uh, it is your job duty, your duty to create your own employment. Yeah. Uh, now, employment does not mean that every week you get a, you get a, a salary. Mm -hmm. It means that every day you have a plan of what to do each day. Mm -hmm. And as long as you're building, there's, there's, there's a payday. Yeah. It's an investment in time, in effort, and uh, strategy. And I, I, I think that this is something too that uh, the, 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 the people who control the podium, uh, you know, the, the, the spokespeople for the, the, the black community, are not encouraging that type of the nation building. You know, uh, you, you people get up and, 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 and criticize, then let me say what the government is doing, but they don't encourage others to start a bank. That is, somebody will make a a five-hour speech about the evil, say, a Bank America not providing loans to uh, black people to do businesses or, or, or mortgages. And yes, we want that to change, but we, we don't look to say, well, start a bank. I, I remember well, some years ago, you know what I mean, this is decades ago, unlike it is, uh, where Gil Noble had a guest uh, th this gentleman and others started a credit union in New mm. Jersey. That's right, I remember that program. Yeah, mm. Where he said that, you know, he had to walk around with, let me say, extra money because sometimes uh, a, a member of the, of the credit union would run into him in the street and want money and they would have to use his back as a desk to write a check. Mm. <laughs> that we, we don't have that type of encouragement. Mm. You know, uh, and and uh, you know, to to say, for example, uh, what is it in in November, Black Solidarity Day, that you don't shop, mm -hmm. or that we boycott. Mm -hmm. We don't have to boycott. I mean, it it doesn't make any sense that I say, for example, that November first I will not go to Bloomingdale's, but it's okay to go from November second back around mm -hmm. to. Uh, October thirty first. <laughs> <Exactly. laughs> you know, so yeah, yeah. You know, so I, I don't go in today, but I'll go in tomorrow because today is Black Solidarity Day, and and it is that type of to me uh, deficiency that that we have in leadership. And uh, well, we well, talk. About, well, yes, I want to go back to Dr. Yeah. Higgins' point. Um, yeah, this is an interesting thing. I, I, Look, education is every, everywhere. There's, yeah. there's two people in, sitting in, in South Africa is interesting because I do get the internet, um, but it's expensive, so I have to pick and choose what I, I, I pay attention to. Mm -hmm. um, but I, I, I look at two people. There's this guy, uh, Neely Filler Jr., which I, I catch him every Wednesday. It was, comes on Wednesdays at uh, uh, 10 o'clock here in the States, so I guess whatever time. Um, I'm, I'm there is like 2 o'clock in the afternoon or something like that. And every week, and he talks about uh, white supremacy. Okay, so you, I'm dealing with that. Then the other person I listen to three times a week, Tuesdays, Thursdays, and Saturdays, religiously, I like to say that word, is Max Kaiser, Kaiser Report. This is economics. Yeah. And I'm telling you, 
you can look. You can still go to school and still do this other. You can you can continue your education. You can do your rope thing, mm-hmm. the satisfied thing, because I got to do the rope thing. Yeah. But still do these other things, you know, because you have you know you have more than one one aspect of your brain. Mm-hmm. And so I don't right. fault I don't fault these leaders or you know these television personalities that get up there and 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 do and do their little hamster wheel thing. I'm you know running mm-hmm. on the hamster wheel and, and whatever. That's that's not the, the, that's their job. That's but that's not your job. Your job is not to listen to them. Your job is to pick out who you're supposed to listen to, and then leave the rest alone, and and do what you're supposed to do. Strategy and tactics. You're supposed to have your own. Stra- you like Neely Fuller says. Every, every morning you wake up, you're supposed to have a plan, so that at the end of the day, you're much further on than you were when you started. Right. And further on doesn't mean re- reacting to something that's going to uh-huh. get you on their hamster wheel. That's the problem. They get you on their hamster wheel and you just, oh, okay, I want that. Oh, yeah, yeah, you're right, you're right, you're right. Come on now. This is, yeah, I, we're I, intelligent I, adults. Come on. I, I, there's this um, story. Uh, and I don't remember. I guess it's some Greek um, story, uh, Roman, whichever one it is. Out there. Yeah, but it probably originally came from Africa. They just, you know, adjusted it. <laughs> yeah, it <comes> <laughs> Yeah, okay. <laughs> but uh, it, the, it was the, this, this woman who, uh, you know, was a, she was a very fast runner. And um, uh, the, the idea was if, if a man could defeat her in a race, that he would be able to marry her. And uh, what he did to win was he had some golden apples. And as he ran, he would drop them and she would stop to pick them up as a distraction. So ultimately he was able to win the race. Uh, well, I can tell you, that was a Greek story because you, you know, come on now. You say, just like us, we got, we got distracted by the trinkets. Yeah, the, I, that I hear that. That is precisely what I'm saying. You know, in, in, in that every little thing, you know, uh, I, I, our discussion is not internal. It is about outside things that we make into distractions mm-hmm. instead of discussing uh, what I would consider to be fundamental. Uh, again, coming back to building nation, you're involved, you say, radio drama uh, in, in, in art because you see these things as things that, let me say, tap into the reservoir of self. Mm-hmm. Um, ultimately, it, it's the, the expression, you, you put yourself out there, you're seeing yourself. Uh, you, you say the, the virtual can become the reality uh, because it opens up uh, the, the, it opens up yourself to who you are. But let's go yeah. back to that story. Let's go back to the, 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 the golden apple story. Mm-hmm. Think about it. The man, the patriarch, he had a strategy. He had a plan. Percent. You see what I'm saying? Now the problem is when when he when he, because he knew he, he knew he knew he could that's win. You know. So so, so so the matriarchy got rid of the mat, the, the matriarchy and and now uh, or, or the matriarchy. So now now the matriarchy is you know they said okay fine cool uh, well what the hey you know. But the problem is the patriarchy the, after after that initial you know plan that strategy they got nothing not nada. Yeah. This is the problem. The world today, look, mm-hmm. the world today, the problem really is, is that we allow people to give us an initial, you know, strategy to get out of whatever we're getting out. And then we depend on them to continue like they, like, like, like they have all the answers. Mm-hmm. Come on. The, the, the biggest problem we have is that we keep, we, we don't mentor behind us. We, we, we don't say, we, we, we don't admit that, oh yeah, I might have been good in 1970, but you know, in, in, 19, in, in 2020, I might not be as good. As, mm-hmm. In fact, where's my where's the cat that I was in 1970? And we refuse to give up the the the, the, yeah. the, the, the rain, the power, to pass the baton, whatever you want to whatever you want to say. It, to the, the future that we speak so much of, we don't want to give it any play. Mm-hmm. You know, it is uh, for, for forever and forever, and that that could lead us into a whole another uh, something, but. One of the things, uh, uh, in in terms of, uh, I guess what we're speaking about here is, uh, I came to understand is, I, I visited the, uh, one of the maroon communities in Jamaica, I should say nation, uh, because they are really independent, uh, 
but uh, I visited and was talking with a gentleman by the name of Mr. Lumsden, uh, and uh, you know I, I had learned that, uh, or excuse me, I was taught that um, you know the Maroons became independent after they defeated the British. So he was saying something to me. So I said, "Oh, that, that, that when when you signed the treaty, when you won independence," and he said, "No." We were already independent before we fought the British. They didn't want to accept it, so we had to fight to prove to them that we, to maintain our independence. Mm -hmm. And I say that it's the same thing that is, in a sense, not happening with us. That is, we have failed to declare our independence. And in declaring our independence, it means that we have to do things we have to develop institutions to safeguard and preserve and develop that independence, which is what we are not doing. We are more interested in saying, as I said, uh, oh, Citibank won't lend us money to start businesses. C Citibank uh, would redline us, and, but we don't look to build a bank. Well, the thing is that now you've just hit the point back to audio drama. Mm -hmm. I'm saying if you can create this strategy, this tech, this reality in the virtual world, the virtual world of audio drama, yeah. then you see it, you can step into it. The problem is we, people can't even envision, they're, they're so clouded by all kinds of things, by the dazzle, the razzle, the whoever it is, the, the, and that's the problem. The, what the cat was basically saying, hey, you know, no matter what anybody else said, we were, we, we were, we were a nation, we were independent, and, and, and when they came and said that we weren't, we said, you must be out of your mind. <laughs> <laughs> and, and this is uh, what I'm saying is that in terms of working, one, you know, because they, you have to work to preserve something. You have to, to put something in place, the things that we need, uh, because people complain that, you know, the educational system is rotten, but we don't seek to create one to meet our needs. And, and it is not a matter of dissolving the public schools, you know, because right now we're not going to have, but you're putting something in place that even if it translates into a public school system. It, 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 you, you know that the public school will be meeting the needs according to what we understand to be our needs of educating our children. Uh, the, I, I said a, a, a bank uh, having ideas, the, the things that we consider uh, like black, if I, if I can, in an easy word, uh, because it can become mainstream. You know, they say you if if you if you make great shoes, they say even if you're in the bushes, somebody will create a path to your door to get. And uh, and this is what you want. It is that the we we have to articulate a standard, you know, um, of, of, of excellence, so that we're in demand everywhere. Uh, first, taking care of ourselves. Having that is, you you want if we go to the hospital, whether it is a public hospital or a one a hospital that we own, the service that you're going to get is based on a standard we have established for ourselves. Now, so well, I need to say just to say this to you, Hunter. I know we're yeah. coming to the end here. Um, that, well, that's all well and good. The problem is when we do do these things, uh, they come and pervert it. The, the royal they come and pervert it. I'll give you an interesting example. Well, not, not that, yeah. but in Malawi, there's a famous case. Young cat, Malawi, mm -hmm. in his early 20s, yeah. creates his own windmill for electric power because they need power in his, in his little, his little really? pa patch yeah. of the land. Yeah. He's in Malawi. He's yeah. in Malawi. Yeah. Now, you know, if somebody's in Malawi and yeah. can do that, don't tell me there's somebody not in the middle of the Republic of Brooklyn or whatever you said, the benevolent whoever, whoever yeah. in Brooklyn, <laughs> that can't, you know, create Da, da, da. There's some there's some young brother in Chicago, something like that, that's, that's dealing with prostate cancer, whatever, you know. Yeah. The, the, but the problem is when you have these folks, they, they, uh, the, the the powers that be come, oh, 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 and they, they take them and then they pervert them, or they take their idea and then they, they to suit to the purpose to continue this, here we go, white sup or, or supremacy. Yeah. I won't yeah. call it anything like that. Yeah. I'm sorry, Dr. Huggins wants to yeah. say something. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Go ahead. I think, I think we, the bottom line is, we talk about good luck and bad luck and someone said that the difference is uh, good luck 
is when um, uh, opportunity meets preparation. Uh, sometimes the opportunity arises, but you're not prepared. So the key thing is to always be preparing yourself for opportunity. Preparation is everything. Yeah. And if you had to prepare, you have to have a vision of something that's not seen uh, uh, um, <laughs> physically. But, but it, it, it maybe exists only in your mind. It exists in your spirit. You feel. See, the other thing about Africans, when I say Africa, I'm just everybody, African and diaspora, every place on the planet, you know what I mean? We, f You have to feel it. There's a spirituality that runs through it. Like in, 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 in Tosa culture, this thing called uh, Kamata. Now, Kamata is, is like a, a, think of it as a, as a wavy grid. You know what I mean? The, and that, that, that grid is, 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 I guess you'll call it God or whatever, yeah, whatever. Yeah. but that's the matter, right? Yeah. And, and everybody's tapped into that. Now, whether you want to tap into it or not, I mean, something yeah. might distract you mm -hmm. and like, you know, oh, the golden apple might distract yeah. you and yeah. so you don't pay any attention to your spirit to the matter. So you're, 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 you're cooked, you're fried. Yeah, you're yeah. eating a golden apple. Yeah. Smoking. Okay. Well, you have to ask yourself this thing. Individuals do two things. They produce, and they consume. And we have to do both. So you have to make, take, take stock of like how many things we do individually that we are producing and how, how much time do we spend consuming. And if, and if we're consuming more than we, we produce, then that means that we're not using our creativity. And if we're not using our creativity, then we're subject to other people's creativity like watching TV. Uh, Distraction. Uh, uh, so that, that, that the hours that you spend watching TV mean that there, that amount of hours uh, spent not creating your future. That, yeah. that, that, I think there's another thing. There's, there's, like you said, there's producing and consuming. And there's also, and I hate to be airy-fairy about this, but there's also meditation or downtime where basically you're renewing your spirit, but you're mm -hmm. also preparing for your next step. You're, you're planning, you're planning, you're planning. And that downtime is very necessary. When I say downtime, I also mean for your own body. The, the nutrition that you put in your body, all that stuff counts. You have to, you have to wait for seconds, you know, drink that water and flush yourself out, you know, because if you don't, then your, your organs are gonna start taking that, that unpure water in your, in your bowels and, and, and you're gonna be putting putting basically that, that unpure bowel water into your, your liver and your, and your kidneys and you're gonna end up on Dialysis. I'm sorry. Yeah, it was going to be I toxic. Went off, yeah. I, went, I went off someplace else. <laughs> <I'm> <laughs> where, uh, you, excuse me. As, as consumer. Yeah. Well, okay. yeah. Exactly. You're consuming uh, whether, 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 as, right. Whether whether you're, you're consuming images, or uh, are you, are you, are you okay. consuming uh, okay. uh, uh, products, okay. Uh, okay. manufactured goods, and so on. Uh, ideas. Okay. Right. Okay. Uh, so I'll, uh, follow, I'll follow you. What, on what you're yeah, talking yeah, about yeah. there? That, that's part of the producing part. I got you. Meditating. You know, right, detoxing so. is part of the producing this, effort. Let, let me produce this. Thank you both very much for coming. <laughs> uh, You're most welcome. Safely. I will. I'm uh, looking forward to it. Don't take too long, no five years um, between no. um, trips. But I can say so, right? Well, yeah. Um, but but like uh, you don't have to do so. I'm just saying so. <laughs> it's because well, I can. I try. And um, oh, come back quickly. Uh, I, I want to thank both uh, Dr. Huggins and uh, Anthony Sloan for uh, dropping in and, and hanging with us. And I guess maybe in, in terms of what we're saying here, consuming and producing and uh, having our own vision, um, where, where the gentleman said that uh, men see things as they are and say, why? I dream of things that never were and say, why not? Take a um, course. So, yes. <laughs> Look, that is it, a radio drama. So you've been listening to Labrich. My name is Hapta Selassie. We'll be, oh, again, thank you very much to both of you. We'll be back next week with another edition of the program. Seven, one, eight, you're you're two, most three, welcome. You're most welcome. Two, eight, two, three. Mm -hmm. oh, oh, yeah. oh, yeah. What's your number again? Seven, one, eight, two, three, five, two, eight, two, three. Yeah, and you can get you can get me just just it's interesting search me Anthony J Sloan. Let's do YouTube channel and subscribe. Huh. Anthony J Sloan.
and the J stands for justice. <laughs> I'm sorry, that, it doesn't make sense. But that's, <laughs> be sorry. No, no, none of that. But again, um, stay tuned for what comes up next. And you've been listening to Labrish. My name is Habtas Salasi. We'll be back next week. No, no, we won't be here next week, but Labrish will be here next week with uh, Dennis Cabato. And uh, it is. Uh, Produced by Ian Forrest and is at the Jazz Mac production. Which part will it? <laughs>